Hey guys, you're just in time to watch me try to do an off-the-cuff, you know, hard science investigation in order to create a vaccine that's somehow effective immediately against zombie bites. Ugh. I'm trying to do it with... Wait a minute. Wrong. Load game, sorry. I have a feeling that even though I'm not going to be the one fighting off zombies this time, it's still really not going to be any easier. I'm going to try to do this at least once before uh, looking at the directions to see exactly what it is that Scully has to do in the whole antidote making process. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is not going to be fun. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, my voice cracked there. goes the dangers a lurking nearby music even though there's nothing here uh, medical waste bin uh, what else we got I guess dr. what's his name is in that cabinet as usual but let's check the whole room box of microscope slides I see something sparkling, but I, mean, I guess that was just my imagination. And hopefully Scully won't have to do any, you know, have to use up any ammo killing off zombies herself like Mulder did, so that will definitely give us a surplus of ammunition for later. With Mulder, it really took just about everything I had. Oh no, I had at least two full seconds to react. He took me by complete surprise. Give me a minute. Uh, starting to gain ground on me. Seriously, even a zombie, how many times do you have to kick a bastard in the pancreas before he goes down? For the love of all that is holy, Gillian Anderson, show some emotion in your lines. This game isn't that bad. Although I could be lying to myself. Okay, so... Gloves. Um, uh, what do I do? No, let's not stop the autopsy, but how do you equip stuff? you actually initiate this autopsy? I'm a little bit confused. Ah, close trade back and then... Um...
To tell you the truth, I have no idea where to go. I guess we just scalpel the dude and then syringe out his blood or something? I have a feeling Mulder's gonna die before I'm done with this. And I keep pressing back to go back here to the body when all you actually do is press square to close the tray. Uh, I'm doing my best, but I have no idea. Apparently, I'm incapable of breaking a fragile human skin with a scalpel. Uh, I'm pretty sure Mulder's not going to be surviving much longer. I don't know, it's like, do I already have what I need? Was it like I just had to use a scalpel on the dude and that's it, and then run over here to the microscope? I need something to examine. Um, okay. What, seriously? <laughs> like I would know anything about actually making an incision during the autopsy. <sighs> I mean, is that it? Is that the, is that the full scar or? Now what? Sorry, bad habit. Hmm. So I had to be just in a certain location on the shoulder. I mean, we really couldn't get a just a generic target area here. I think you may like make like a Y incision, something. Up, uh, oh, too late. Mulder's dead. Okay, well, at least I kind of got somewhere. Let's try that again. I'm actually surprised I don't remember this. After all, I used to watch that uh, surgery channel. You know, where they perform uh, autopsies like right there on camera. You know, graphically show you what's going on. I used to watch those all the time as a kid. For some reason, I was fascinated with that. Now, there was a different musical cue this time upon entering the room. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this over with. I can grab the ammunition from his office later. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's how you skip cutscenes. Ow! just standing there, you know, he sees the zombies beginning to gain ground on me, rising back up, and it's like he doesn't even, he doesn't give a damn. 
Do you think he's trying to put on some extra weight, you know, lending his own foot? Do I have like spikes on the on the bottoms of my shoes? I'm drawing blood with every. I, Elder, you're hurt. I to think, that guy. Okay, let's do this. Now I did read ahead far enough to know that you do have to have the gloves and glasses equipped, and of course you know that's just common sense there. Or else I think you get like an immediate game over or something because of uh, contamination issues. Okay, so I think you're supposed to make like a Y incision. And, uh. Oh, I didn't know it went all the way down that far. The stomach shows the last meal close to the time of death. How would you know that? Do you know what regurgitated, like, half-digested pepperoni pizza is? What it looks like? <laughs> Lucky guess. Mulder, clear the room as zombies here. Okay, screw it. I'm just gonna look. Um, microscope, big slides. You combine that with the whoops. the syringe so that's like Scully you know putting the bile that she collected from the pancreas I think that's the organ that produces bile onto the slide and there we go seriously you can't use that here Freaking door. Where is the microscope? Microscope, microscope. Uh different item out of it, huh? And of course the game has to be particular about where you place this on the table. She said epinephrine. Point two milliliters. Um, 
don't know what to do. Just because there's a medical cure doesn't allow a paranormal cause. I should have Actually, it just about does, I think. Did I thank you for saving my life? What about the other sister? Kate Bateman. I don't know how to explain it, but somehow I know she's still alive. I've seen a vision of her of a cold and afraid. I don't know what it was. Well, the trailer park is south of here. Maybe there's an answer in the room. I guess we should finish off these guys. <sighs> that takes care of that. And honestly, I have no idea. I just happened to... I just happened to scroll down in the walkthrough and look at the same time. While... You know, Scully was spouting off chemicals, which, of course, you know, isn't near enough. It's not nearly audible enough over the, you know, over, like, the music at the moment, so. And I could swear she said 0.2 milliliters of epinephrine. Maybe the whole entire thing was epinephrine. I don't know. But I thought she was referring to, you know, to the, uh, to the section at the very top, which... You know, she said 0.2 milliliters, but the walkthrough was like 0 0.4, 0 0.3, then 0 0.2. I honestly don't get it. That's a little bit too... I mean, if you're going to have a sequence, sequence like this, I... You know, that's cool, I guess, but... You can't assume that anybody's any kind of chemical genius. You're pretty much going to have to hold their hand through it. Or at least explain it to where an idiot can understand. But, you know, at least it didn't take near as many tries as uh, it did on Mulder's game, so I guess I can't complain, ultimately. And so let's be sure to pick up this uh, ammunition and... Also, like how Scully was calmly talking through the autopsy process, like, you know, she was still on the TV show just by herself and could take all the time in the world to, you know, record her proceedings. Let's be smart, though, and save. Well, I didn't remember this from last time, but Mulder at least, you know, gave some sort of explanation as to why we never did go back and check on that Chaco guy, uh, if I remember his name correctly. I mean, he said he probably didn't survive, so, well, you know, it wouldn't hurt to go check, but at least the game didn't totally forget about him. Got my throat. Uh, yeah, sorry guys, I'm going back in because I just now, <clears throat> I just now saw you can actually examine the cabinet where the uh, doctor came out and bit Mulder for a <clears throat> first aid kit and ammo clip. It's worth going back for, I think. These chests didn't seem to be split open in the in-game graphics. Continuity error. K-9 
can't run with both the gun and the flashlight. I guess that makes sense. Whoops. Okay, so back on our way to the trailer park to find out some more information on the Winslow girls. <laughs> Sorry, during the loading screen, I just I was just reading the walkthrough a little more, and I just now noticed it was actually written by a by a girl. And she, I don't know if she was just making a joke or not, or whether she really has like a celebrity crush. But she was talking about how Mulder's got your back during this time, and she's like, "Ain't he great, ladies? Swoon!" Oh, sorry, that's a Chaco's trailer. seem to be having trouble here. Get up those stairs. We'll just got the keys for us and we'll turn up here for a cutscene. <clears throat> bad, I suppose, as far as trailer homes go. Okay, now I could swear there was a diary we were supposed to read here. Am I an idiot here? Is this not the Winslow Girls trailer? Uh, huh. This is the trailer in the very back, according to the walkthrough, so... That... That is, excuse me, Mulder, I would really like to thank you. Once again, a matter of examining the chair from the right angle. Yes, I passed, I passed the Hector garage on the east side, but didn't look in. Andy's, Andy's diary. The last, the last entry, entry was two weeks, weeks ago, but she mentioned the high level called the wheelhouse. We'll save time when we split up. up. I'll, check I'll check the garage. garage. Okay, now at this point, uh, Scully's game is going to take a different turn for Mulder yet again. And we're on our way to Hector's garage, which 
I just happen to recall this one during the review. This should be where we fight this uh, this uh, zombie in a boss battle called uh, Hector. And we're actually supposed to drop the car on him three times or something because he just he's just invulnerable to bullets, don't ask. will apparently be achieved by taking out this post office worker and getting the keys to the post office. Who knows, we might also uh, find another insane postal employee who will be carrying an AK-47 on their person, just like Mulder did. I guess since Walter's already been through here, it would only make sense that there wouldn't be any zombies anymore. Minor detail, though, for the sake of continuity. Well, since he's down, we'll just kick him. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. That's weird, that guy was kind of panting like a dog. Caving in his chest with like a uh, crescent kicks to the sternum. That's one way to get him, I suppose. That's not too bad. Oh, I wonder if that's the uh, endless 
supply of zombies out of the fire again. Now, if I recall, there was a there was an item or two in Mulder's story in the movie store, so let's just check that out right quick. Oh, hi. Was this supposed to be a creepy dude in a trench coat hanging out in the adult section? I mean, was it meant to be that way? Speaking of which, how's my health? Oh, not bad. I think this is actually small. Um, wow, Scully, how do you know that? I hope you're just making a joke. And you simply know, in general, that he watches a lot of adult films. Um. Oh, there. Well, I thought maybe there might be something in particular hiding behind the couch, because probably Scully's not going to be going through there in her game. For now, let's just ignore these guys. Save on ammo. we're supposed to be on our way all the way back to the gate <sighs> gate the uh, gas station so I said gate because I was looking right at the sliding gate just now opening that and having to face another zombie kid. And Dawson's driver's license of... Uh, I don't think that actually did anything last game. At all. Other than just to put a name with the face of the poor sucker you just encountered. Encountered? Encountered, sorry. What's this on the shelf? Oh. Gun clip, okay. We should probably save while we're at it. door was locked previously on Mulder's game, so this is actually an entrance straight to the straight to the garage. Cool. Yep, we're here. Um, what's this? Magnum. Sweet. I'd like to try it out on Hector, but. Looks like we already do know a way to beat him. Except what I'm looking for, I honestly don't even remember. Okay, sorry, I thought the stairs were exposed uh, leading down to the area where the mechanics were from. Oh god, Hector was under there. I'm you know, just wondering... <laughs> I think he's sliding around and actually trying to bite my ankles. Now if we can just lure him... Whoops. Yeah, 
how that did not work. And of course, if you have the car down, it's easy to get trapped, I guess. Now, what I better do is actually put up the gun so I can activate things faster. Yes, that's actually a mechanic. Okay, come on, come on. Ah! doing quite a bit of damage. Crap. There we go. Or did that work? I might actually want to throw this match because I have a feeling there is absolutely no reason to be taking this much damage. Although, honestly, why didn't I just leave the car down? thing he's rolling around on. Oh, it actually worked. Although he somehow wriggled out from underneath it. And... I don't feel like I'm any more on target than I was the previous times, and they didn't... they didn't take. the way this guy's rolling around on that little thing. Okay, if I can just get him hung on that pole. door just flew open for some reason. I, I guess like it just in his dying breath. This time the last impact of the car hitting him was simply forceful enough to actually, you know, make a cabinet door fly open nearby. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that. Okay, so what was it I even got again? Scissor Jack. This will do what for us now? Now, if I remember, the next objective was to get to the firehouse, so I guess that's what we use it for. And on that note, this would be a good point to stop, so, um, yeah, next time I'll just see you guys at the next destination so we don't have to go through the, you know, the video footage of actually getting all the way back across town, and, yeah, we'll pick up from there. Thanks for watching, see you later.